Welcome to this installment of C++ in under 5 minutes. This is the first of what is hopefully going to be many more C++ tutorials on this channel. Now, as suggested by the title of this series, the whole point of these videos is going to be to teach you guys C++ in easy to understand short segments. As you guys can see, I will be using the code block IDE for these tutorials. If you want to check out that IDE, the link will be down in the description. As you can also see, I'm using Linux, but code blocks also works on Mac OS and Windows. So starting out, of course, we're going to take the traditional route and start with a Hello World program. So I'm going to create a new project. This is going to be a console application, C++ of course, and I'm just going to give it a name. Let's call it Hello World. And we're going to stick with all of the default settings. Finish. And you'll notice something interesting about code blocks. So if we drop down here into our main.cpp, you'll notice that it already gives us a Hello World program, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of this video. So I'm going to nuke that right now. And we are going to start from scratch. The default Hello World program that code blocks gives you is going to be nearly identical to the Hello World program I'm about to write right now. So you can just keep that code and run it and see what it does, but that's really not going to be helping you too much. I highly advise against doing that, what you should do is you should nuke all of that code and start fresh and follow along with this tutorial. The best way to learn this stuff is to actually get down and dirty and actually write some code. Of course, you know, you need to do your research and read up on your resources. But really, the best way to learn this and figure this stuff out is to actually do it. So the first thing we need to do is include a preprocessor. And we're going to do that by using pound include. And we need to include IO stream, so it's IO S T R E A M. And this is going to give us basic input output capabilities. The next thing we need to do is declare our function header. And this is going to be our main function. Inside this function, we are going to place all of the code that we actually want to execute. So we're going to do int main parentheses open bracket. And we're going to drop the closing bracket down a couple rows just to give us some space to code. And inside here, I'm going to type out using namespace std and then a semicolon. I'll talk about what this does later on in these tutorials. That's not super important right now, and it's going to take a little bit of time to explain. Um, so I don't want to waste our five minutes. And then next, we are going to use C out along with our less than or greater than symbols to actually print out a string. So C out. And then we are going to give ourselves a set of quotation marks. And inside these quotations, we're going to put the string that we want to print out. And a string is basically just a series of letters and numbers. Um, so in here, we are going to place hello world. Hello world. And to make things fun, let's just give this an exclamation point. Ta-da! And we need a semicolon to close that all out. And finally, we're going to have our main function return zero just to terminate the program. So R-E-T-U-R-N zero. And that's all there is to it. This is the structure for a basic hello world program. And if I compile this, it should compile without any errors. And I am going to run it by clicking run up here in the toolbar. It should open up a console window. And you can see that it printed out hello world. And congratulations, you have just written your first program in C++, a really, really easy, basic program, but a program nonetheless. If you're really set on wrapping your head around C++, then I would highly recommend having a written resource laying around. And this is a great book. This is C++ Premier Plus by Stephen Prada. I bought this last week, read through it, and I love this book. I had to use a uh, different C++ book for college during my uh, C++ courses there. And this blows that book out of the water. It's much easier to read. I love the way this is laid out. And it has everything, pretty much everything 
that you need to know about C++ in here. Tons of examples. And if you want to check this out, I will put the link to it down in the description. It's also very affordable, um, especially compared to most college textbooks. This was 30 bucks off Amazon. I couldn't even rent my C++ book that I had for college for 30 bucks. That thing costs at least 60 bucks to rent. So um, a real bargain. Tons of content in here, good content, well written, lots of examples. And if you want to check this out, once again, link will be down in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and post a comment down in the comment section. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. If you didn't like this video, please tell me why. And of course, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.